Hi everyone, so if you've tried to get to Saffron City, you've probably come up against one of the guards who keeps talking about tea. But the good news is I've managed to get to how to get tea to be able to give to the guard. So essentially what you need to do is get to Caledon City, which you can get to by heading out west from Lavender Town. So you kind of keep on heading around Route 8 and you'll find yourself in this location. Now you have to kind of like fight your way through. But what you're looking for is this underground path to Caledon City and then you can just head on down and through it and this will take you to the location that you're aiming for eventually and you'll come out here. Now when you get to Caledon City you can see you can't get past this Snorlax but I'll be posting a follow-up video of how to get past this in the not too distant future and when it's done you can check it out in the link above but you don't need to do anything with the Snorlax to get the tea. To get the tea, it's a case of heading on into this, uh, this department store here in, uh, in Caledon City and just sort of having a look around. Now I'm not 100% sure because I definitely had a look around in the, uh, in the department store before Brock appeared, but what you want is for Brock to appear outside this apartment and for me, I only spotted Brock after going in the Caledon department store. So if you get to the apartment block and you can't see Brock, then it's possible that you need to go and have a mooch around the department store. However, there are other reasons that you might not see Brock. So Brock was the, uh, the gym champion at the Pewter City gym. So if you haven't taken that down yet, then that could be another reason why you can't see Brock here. But essentially you want to find Brock here and he'll kind of out of a little chat to you and he'll essentially tell you that he's going to give you a cup of tea. And that's exactly what you're looking for. So as soon as you get the tea, you can stop chatting with Brock and head on over to the guard, which is exactly what I'm going to do now. So you just kind of head on in and as before, he's going to stop you. But this time he spots the fact that you've got a cup of tea has a little drink and uh, lets you pass. And then in addition to letting you pass, he also says that he's gonna share the tea with all the other guards. So all the other guard places to be able to get to Saffron City, they're gonna let you through. So suddenly you've got an open access to, uh, to get into Saffron City pretty easily. So that's it guys, that is everything you need to know about the tea location for the guard and how to get to Saffron City here in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Hopefully that helps you out and if it does, drop us a like below. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left hand side and hit that bell button if you wanna get notifications for all of our videos as they come out. You can check out the rest of our series for Pokemon Let's Go with the links on the right hand side. Leave any comments below, let us know how you get on getting the T location for yourself and I will catch you next time.